Hey folks, it's Jeremy, the host of Blamo. Thanks so much for listening. This is a preview of one of our exclusive shows on Patreon. These are member-supported shows, meaning they only happen because of our incredible members and community. So check out a preview of the episode, and if you like it, consider joining us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Blamo, where we have tons of exclusive Blamo episodes, shows, our amazing Slack group, and we're adding new things for members all the time. If not, no worries, we still love you, and we literally have hundreds of episodes of Blamo all free for you to dive into. Thanks so much. Everyone always wants to know, what are you wearing today? But no one ever thought to ask, how are you wearing today? Welcome to the Triple J Show, hosted by Jeremy Kirkland, Gian Delian, and John Moy. This show is what a podcast would sound like if you could make one with your own hands. Like we used to in the good old days, when jacket cuffs were functional, jeans were shuttle loomed, and no one joked, hey buddy, why are you so dressed up? just because you decided to wear a sport coat to the grocery store. As three mildly respected industry veterans whose net worth is mostly housed in their closets, the Triple J crew will share stories from behind the bespoke curtain, make a little more sense of the rapidly changing fashion world, and who knows, someone may learn a thing or two. So button those middle buttons, tighten those side tabs, strap on those monks, and enjoy the ride. I looked at my closet this morning and looked at everything I bought this year and looked at everything I got this year and everything I tried to get this year. And it can, it's the same thing as last year in which I hate 99% of all my stuff. Hate? Hate. It doesn't fit. Not just like slight regret? Hate. I don't know. I mean, I would say hate into which, you know, I, every year I'm like, yo, I'm reinventing myself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this fit. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get this brand. I'm going to get into Aura Lee. I'm getting it into, you know, whatever. It was like when I tried to get into the soloist and I used to be a little bit skinnier and I just like got all these dumb things and I realized that I could wear those two looks, those two fits and that's it and nothing else I own fit. Nothing else I had make sense. And, hmm. you know, I tried to do it with like some bigger silhouettes this year. I was telling Gian, I tried to do it with a bunch of different stuff. And I'm like, I can't, it just, it's not working. And when I do it, everyone's like, that's kind of weird. Like even Elizabeth's like, why are you wearing pants that are so big? I was like, no, 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 this is like a different style. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm just like, Pfft. Because I was going to say, is it that you're not used to seeing yourself, so you think it looks bad? Or do you honestly think objectively, like, dang, this fit is ass? I'll say this in a, in a loving way about myself. I know what silhouettes fit my body. And they're basically, like, very classic silhouettes in which I can't really Sounds wear. Sounds to me a- like you're just getting old, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're right. Basically, at the end of the day, I'm getting old. And it's just like, if I, if I want to wear the cool guy silhouettes... I can wear a big coat, but I can't wear an oversized coat. Like we were talking, you know, I can I can wear like a full leg trouser, but I can't wear like wide leg stuff. Just because the way my body type is and like I've gotten bigger, but I'm still not really like thin. So it just looks like you're trying to hide something. You can, you something. can pull off the 316 relaxed straights you know, or the it's Imperials. Funny, An- yeah, yeah, Andrew was like, yo, you should check out the RS. You know, yeah. and I was in New York and I was like, yeah. And I mean, he'll probably call me out when he hears this. I was like, ah, but I just didn't do it. I mean, trust me, I like 99% of all 316. I like all of 316, to be honest with you. But I was just, it's just a me thing. And even so then, think. like, yeah. And I got those, I got those jeans from Henry's, which I bought from him. And I wore them and I wore them a few times. I'm like, these are pretty cool. But even then, you know, I would wear it with other things that I had. And I was like, it just, it's, it's the, this, it's like the thing that sticks out of everything else that I own. So I'm like, oh, maybe I just need to get rid of everything. And then I have nothing else to compare it to. If those are the only jeans you have, then that's it. But then I just don't, you know, I'll wear something. Like the other night we went out, I wore just like regular, I wore like my sugarcane jeans, a sport coat, an Oxford, and I wore a tie because we were going out to dinner, which I was like, why not? And Elizabeth was like, you look so good. And I'm like, fuck, if I was wearing, 
some Arcteryx in a, you know, in a hoodie and big old jeans, she wouldn't say that. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. So I, I don't, this isn't the point it's of this interesting, conversation. interesting because like, like, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that you're like, yeah, I can't see, like I, you, I think what we're hearing, right, Gian, is that he can't <laughs> see himself in some of these bigger silhouettes. Not that he looks bad in them, right? Which was like the, you're just getting old, dude. Cause it's like, you have like a perception and you're just like, this doesn't look right. But I'm the other way. I went like mad big this year. Like all my clothes are like too big. I will say that comfortably. And then now when I wear clothes that I think anyone else objectively would be like, no, that's your actual size. I'm like, I look like a sausage in this. Like, (laughs) ah, you know what I mean? And they look too tight. And it's like, I like am comfortably always like a large, right? Medium to large. But this Mm -hmm. year was like, XL only. That's as small as I'm going. Oh. Like I went full. Eight, I got 18 East pills a little bit, I think. And like yep. big, big pants, even bigger sweatshirts, big old tees. And now when I wear like regular clothes, I'm like, I look, I'm like, damn, I'm a big guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? You like look in the mirror, you're like, damn, I'm big. You know, and then work's got like the big 60 inch zoom screens. And if I'm sitting too close in like regular clothes, I'm like, oh, I look huge. You know what I mean? I look like I'm in like two, like, I look like fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> That's how yeah. I feel in in regular size clothes, but then Adrian, everyone else would be like, "No, dude, that's like your size. Like those fit." Oh, but I'm like, "No, I look terrible. I need it to be." And now I'm like, "I need it even." I was like trying on roll necks, like a Bigger. AJ crew, Bigger. and like I was like, "I got an XL," <laughs> and it's like, it's not tight on me at all. And I'm like, "I need to go double XL." And Adrian's like, "I would be so mad if you double XL this sweater." And I and I'm like, "I, you know," and like, you, you look like the dudes in the background of like dance studio. TikToks, you know, like the big dude in all the big old clothes, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, you just look like that. You look like you're in like Save the Last Dance or something. Oh my Uh, God. So it's the same thing. We're like, we're on that same spectrum of like, I went, now I can't go back, man. So I get it. Now I need all my clothes to be huge. Yeah, I just, so that that's that's my, that's my conundrum. I don't know how I'm going to navigate this shit. And then you got- I do both. Yeah, I was going to say, then you got Gian just sailing comfortably between the Scylla and the Charybdis, just like- Yeah, no I problem. I want both worlds. I know it's a mindset, do. right? Yeah, it's a mi- you know, basically, it's like I'm either like my two moods are either Tom or Rick these days. Yeah, those Which are I've- polar extremes. <laughs> yeah, but like all the Tom is fitted and all the Rick is big, so it's mm-hmm. like. But to me, it's literally just like how menswear guys dress, right? But it's the extreme versions of both. Like you think of someone like Simon Crompton, or you think of like Derek Guy, and it's like, well, I'm either in, I'm either in like bespoke Italian shit from what's the Florentine tailor's name? Liverano. Go to exactly. It's like I'm either in Liverano and Liverano, or like I'm in like Stevenson jeans and like real McCoys, and I'm just like, yeah. So basically, what I'm into is still an extension of that. It's just that you know, I might do like a Tom Brown, like super 120s or like a Glenn plaid in fit one with like a cardigan and like a rep tie. But then my Rick Owens is going to be like the Rick Owens flannel that is made from the same mm-hmm. flannel as Ironheart. And it's got like chain stitch runoff. It just fits like Rick with like salvage Geth jeans also made in Japan and like mm-hmm. Ramones. Right. So it's like, I mean, I don't really wear like the crazy Rick stuff. I, I you know, have like a denim head Rick approach, which is basically right. like, you know, the only kind of Rick they sell at Self Edge. Right. 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 Yeah. So it's Wait. like they're all on the same evolutionary tree. This right. stuff. You know what I mean? It's, I'm starting to see it. You exactly. Know what I mean? I'm That's seeing the, the approach now. I get it now. I mean, this is an honest question and I feel like it's one that I should have known and I probably do know, but I don't think I really do. Like, Gian, because you have such a variety of fits and styles and looks how do you get dressed in the morning uh, i start with like well what do i feel like wearing and then i'll build everything around it like on the yeah. weekdays it's usually just tom i'll just be like all right i'm gonna and that's like the closest to like a uniform that i have because it's so like lego mm-hmm. but at the same time it's like you know it's mindless dressing but you get like the credit for being in fashion but mm-hmm. that's sort of like what he wants you to do right it's just like mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to make it easy, but then I'm like, all right, but it's Tom. So, and it's, it's, you know, custom Tom a lot of times, but I'll, Mm -hmm. I'll have like a Merino, like double zip sweater that I'll wear. And sometimes I'll do like a varsity jacket instead of like the sport coat. Right. But it's just so, I mean, because especially now it's just easier to like wear a tie and just, you know, the, the old, the old thing the people said about like, well, you know, I can walk into any hotel, use the bathroom. People take me more seriously yeah. as uh, as a person who's supposed to speak with some semblance of authority. So that's mainly like why it's become so like um, 
easy for me to do that. Uh, but then, you know, some days I'll just be like, I want to wear whales. I want to wear Rick. Um, or, you know, like I've been on a Viz Vim kick lately just because I got a insane pair of Virgils on super sale. But then I'll wear Such that with like boot. Stone Island or like, um, you know, 316. Yeah. Hmm. So your, your job hasn't, I feel like this is like the first time I've talked to you. Like your job is not dictated where it's like, oh, you got to wear a suit or you got to wear this. You just, no. Yeah, not okay. really. It's just, you know, uh, I think any any sort of corporate job, especially for a large company, that's sort of the default, right? It's yeah. like, yeah, sure. There was there was a time where I, I was meeting with a lot of like the board of directors and walk with them through one of our stores, our New York store. I was like, I should probably just like wear a suit or if I'm like mm. giving a presentation to, you know, a lot of people and I'm like, you know, it's, this is like a shortcut to just look incredible is wearing some sort of tailoring. But, you know, it's like I have some amazing, you know, bespoke suits. So like Jay Muser made me this really nice Fox Brothers one. And I love like my Noah suits too. And then I have like some Stofa ones. But with Tom, it's just so easy because everything just like fits in its right place, right? It's like I have my custom shirts that go with the ties that go with the cardigan that go yeah. with the sweater or whatever. So it's just plug and play. But that's it. I can mix mix it up enough. Hmm. Yeah, See, we're I feel both. like the perception of like G and specifically like your job and, and like the company is like everybody got like a wild fit on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, so it's like interesting to to hear I'm the like, fashion director. Yeah. You know what suit I mean? Director. I feel like they think it's like, it's like, you know, devil, we- devil's wears Prada like all the time. You know what I mean? Where yeah, I mean, it's like, well, during fashion month is different. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then, you know, there's depending on the day too, like, especially now that it's like the week before Christmas, it's like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll probably wear like the Sakai Carhartt fit, which I finally like just completed the whole, you know, infinity gauntlet of because yeah, I was the waiting Triforce for the, of it all. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> you know, this, this is the fun part of my job is like when I saw that look on, on the Sakai runway last fall of like the blue Sakai Carhartt sweater with the blue pants and the blue magma escapes. I'm like, I got to get the magma escapes when they come out. And so I just got the magma escapes. Now I'm like, all right. Wow. Now I have the whole look. Now, I mean, it's, I've, I've worn the whole look like right. once. I probably won't wear like it all the time, but it's like, you know, I don't want to dress like a model, but it's just it, having the complete look is an obsessive kind of thing. Mm, interesting. Those men yeah. are good though. Do you make a hit list of like clothes? Like, do you keep... Oh, every season. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, lo- this is my favorite thing to learn. Yeah. yeah. I, have, like, I, I already know, like I'm in the showrooms and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm probably going to get this. Yep. Oh, this one's great. You know, you sort of but, have like, but you write that down post. or do you keep it in your head? Cause I keep oh, it in my head both, but there's like five things total, you know? Yeah. Also, cause like the nature of my job is like, you know, yeah, I, I'm duh. talking about like the things we're most excited about <laughs> each season or each delivery. And Fair. each time there's like a couple of things that I'm like, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to buy this one for myself. But that's everyone who, you know, especially the people on like who are actually buyers, right. Who I work pretty closely with. And it's like, yeah, this is sick. I'm going to need to order an extra in my size kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Wow. Cool. I don't, yeah, I used to keep, I mean, I, well, I keep like a notes app and I, the one thing that I have, which is still like the, the app that I, re, or the note that I refer to the most, one is, um, I have one that's basically every coupon code of friends and family for wherever I'm shopping, just to oh, wow. full transparency where it's like, Super smart. here's, here's my, here's my friends and family code for this brand, this brand, this brand that I can use, which to be honest, I that's usually do it spreadsheet. Well, what? that's well, well, that's <laughs> but this I'm going to tell the truth here, which I usually I, I put the stuff in the car. I put the code in. I see what the total is. And then I look at actually if I can afford it with that discount. And rarely can I. And I'm like, well, you know, yeah. but, well, good to know I can get it at that <laughs> empty cart. Move on. <laughs> and then I have another thing that's basically my size in all of these brands. So like, what's my mm. Cuccinelli size, my Laura Piana size, my Visvim size, my, Good in this, know. in this size, my Alden size, my oldest, and I'm always like building it. I'm like, oh, here's my sugar cane size. Here's my iron heart size. Here's my, you know, whenever I can do that. And that, that's basically the only organizational clothing thing I have, you know, and then I'll write in there like, oh, for next year, you know, like, I mean, Angelo's even said this and we've said this where it's like, I got, Angelo was like, hey, if you wanted to order something and I ordered something from him, you mm-hmm. know, so I have like a couple things in there for spring, you know, or the things that I got for winter, but that's really it. And I basically put it in there because I have to pay for it and I do make sure I have the money whenever I have to pay for it. But right. that's, oh, well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's as organized as I get. That's impressive. <laughs> The sizing thing helps because I forget what I what I'm in. Yeah, what size I am in a lot of stuff. And there's also every brand is a little bit different. Where I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, I'm an extra large in this brand. Well, or some brands like, are different depending on the season. Yes, 
Yeah. Engineer garments, I had to keep one for each Oof. each year. Yes. I'm all over the place with that one. Yeah. Love yeah. Engineer garments, Woo. spring, summer 16, I'm this, spring, summer 13. Sometimes I'm, I'm feeling slim. Like, I don't even have to yep. work out. Other times I'm like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> I mean, this, that's the thing. Like, that was my thing with Drees, right? It's like every season, I'm like, all right, is this going to be like a slim Drees season or is it going to be like a loose Drees season? Yeah. Because I could be a medium, I could be a 54. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that man, that stuff messes with me. I mean, Prada, Prada's the same too. You know, kind of crazy. Yeah. Not that I buy a ton of Prada, but yeah. Well, you got you got some good stuff at that. Well, here let's let's jump into this because this is a bit of a year end thing. We're not doing awards. We're not doing anything like that. But like for you, and this is all in the sartorial world or whatever, or something adjacent to it. But like whether it's biggest surprise, biggest disappointment, best brand, best thing you purchased, worst thing you purchased, whatever that is. Uh, what's like the best brand? For you this year. Our legacy. You know what? I had I had Baston on the pod this morning and he mentioned that he thinks our legacy is like one of the best brands right now. Yeah. A hundred percent. Bang for buck. Um, you know, I think another one of the questions is like biggest surprise, and it was their Armani collab. So it's like that's twofold for me. Uh I mean I mean I still wear like their jeans, like their their Trump Louis jeans. And I was talking with um Jacob Gallagher about this because we went to saw each other this weekend. We went to like the Trevor Gorgi Fugazi fashion show. Oh that yeah. They had <laughs> in like um the Tweed courthouse. He's named after Boss Tweed. Yeah. But he was contemplating about like the printed canvas jeans. I'm like, dude, you need those. Like bar none, I wear them more than the Bottega leather jeans, which I also have. But like, they're so comfortable. The fit is just like perfect. They go with everything. And they just like, if if you're, because he's also like on a non-jean phase. I mean, I still wear jeans, but for me, it's like, it's a gene that doesn't feel like a gene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not gene phase. Moy, what about you? Best brand of the year. And w- and full disclosure, we know that you do work. Yeah, consulting. I was going to say it's Jordan. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah you, we, we know that you work for Jordan brand Nike parent company. Um, you know, I, I think I think you're safe and insulated here. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of personally and like what I've bought the most this year, it's definitely 18 e but like by quite a bit. Like, really? I, like I looked back and I'm like, Wow, I bought a lot of 18 East this year. Do you get, are you a little friends and family with 18 East? I have, but it's also just full price purchases too, like mixed in, sprinkled in. So their prices are are pretty good. Yeah, it's hard to beat their prices for what you get. Um, Yeah. But like, yeah, like I got, I I think, I feel like inevitably there was like, especially the pants. I feel like those, like every drop, every season, whatever, like there's like at least two pairs of pants where I'm like, yo, I'm I'm probably going to buy both of those or at least one of them. And I think that's been true like i thought their stuff with earth studies was super cool and like right up my alley like with the like the biosphere and like all yep. that kind of stuff and like head to toe all white like cool scientist stuff um so i think you know i feel like that might i think that that is it in terms of like where my disposable income went towards for sure um <laughs> yeah but i think like all around our legacy had a really good year <laughs> Like it's hard to to front on that, but yeah, yeah. I would for me it'd be our legacy or Tom Brown brands mm. that. And I, to be honest, I didn't buy a single bit of our legacy or Tom Brown this year. But I mean, Tom Brown twenty eighth twentieth anniversary. It's not insignificant. Yeah. Well, it was. Yeah, this year was the twentieth anniversary. Mm hmm. Twenty two thousand three to twenty twenty three. Yeah, I mean, I, I think like. It's yeah, it's either or probably more Tom Brown, but I say it in the fact, like for me, it's about like how you're right. I feel like Brown had. Yeah, I mean, I have I yeah, I mean, I had if you're hearing this, it means you've hit the end of the Patreon preview. Podcasting ain't much, but it's honest work to hear the rest of the Blamo special episodes. Please consider signing up for the Patreon for just a few dollars a month. Your hard earned cash can help our talking heads dress the rest of their bodies in markdown artisanal clothes. Thanks for listening.